No, it's good. It's good. Everybody's here. Everybody's uh, committed to the cause. Everybody's uh, rooting for each one. Everybody wants to go out and uh, get the job done. We started off the camp on uh, high spirit, and everybody was excited to be back uh, and be amongst one another and get that feeling back to uh, be around the group squad and uh, get get your touches back in and get find your feet back in training. And I want to ask you about the depth of this team. Uh, obviously, it's not a one- or two-man team now. You guys have a lot of depth, and a lot of guys can come in and play some important minutes and important roles. And how important is that depth going to be when you're playing three games in eight days? Of course, uh, with the amount of games and the short uh, amount of times so you have to uh, – uh, uh, swap and change and uh, be adaptable in different formations and we're fortunate to have that depth in the squad in each each position and uh, fortunate to have the quality as well so it's uh, excited for Canada and excited for for the nation and for the for the group and there's a lot of players coming through uh, young players coming through the ranks that's exciting as well so it's a, it's a great feeling and it's uh, great for Canadian soccer Thanks, Peter. Uh, Junior, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I might have flipped the order, but we'll go Joshua next, and then Peter. Hey, Junior. Um, there's obviously a few hurdles uh, to qualification right now. You're missing Alfonso, and you're going into some pretty difficult territories, El Salvador and Honduras. I'm just curious, how does this group right now maintain such a high level of self-belief? Like, What does that look like? Uh, it's the the brotherhood culture that we have in the squad. Everybody's fighting for each and every one of us, and uh, rooting for each other. And uh, it's uh, it's exciting. Everybody comes in with uh, high spirits, and that brotherhood culture pushes us through games. And you can see it uh, when we face face adversity. Uh, we stick together as a group, and it pushes us through and uh, gets the best of each and one of us. So it's that brotherhood culture that pushes us through each game and uh, has us. Uh, coming through each game on our top form. Does that culture look any different, you know, compared to when you started with the national team in 2015? Yeah, it's totally different. It's, uh, what John Herdman put in place here is uh, it's a real brotherhood culture and there's no uh, self agendas. Everybody's on the right path and everybody knows why they're here for the national team and everybody's on board and you can see it. Everybody's fighting for each one of us. And what's the best for not only uh, the team, but for the country as well. So it's an exciting time for uh, Canada. And we just have to keep improving and keep pushing our limits to reach our final goal. Peter, followed by John Molinaro. Hey, Junior. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Um, How are you doing? How are you feeling physically at entering the game in a couple of days, given that you have been dealing off and on with injuries the last few months? Yeah, I've, uh, I got games under my belt coming in and I feel good. It's just, I'm just excited to be back. Uh, uh, I was disappointed to miss last camp through injury, but it's good to be back uh, amongst my brothers and it's a great feeling. Uh, I'm just happy to be here and uh, I just want the best for uh each player here, each staff member here, and for the country. So it's, I'm just, right now, it's, I'm just on uh, excitement to be back, and it's a great feeling. And just a quick follow-up. Um, what do you remember from the last time you played in Honduras in, in 2016 with the national team? Uh, it was a hostile environment. I think uh, we started off the game well, but uh, we didn't. Uh, kill, kill the game, which we had chances to. So if we could uh, go into this game with that killer instinct that we came through the previous games, uh, we'll be fine. We just have to uh, stick to the game plan and uh, make sure we take our chances in these games and don't give them nothing, no breathing space and stay front foot on onto them and uh, stick to the game plan. Right now, Honduras has, uh, they, have, they have nothing to lose. I think they have to go out there and try to get the maximum points. So I think they're going to come out uh, all guns blazing. And uh, I think we just have to keep to the game plan and remain solid and don't give them nothing in the early parts of the game. And uh, we should uh, maintain that. And if we start off game 
uh, on the front foot and solid will be fine throughout and will dominate. So I expect them to come out all guns blazing as they have to go out and get maximum points to have a fighting chance. So I think they have nothing to lose and they have to come out guns blazing. Thank you, Moses. Thanks, Richard. And thanks, Junior, for doing this, my friend. Uh, I wanted to uh, mention that not too bad, my man. Uh, excited to see what you guys are able to do in this next little while. Uh, but I had to ask this one question in particular. We're, we're past the halfway mark of the qualifiers. You guys are on top of the table. There's sometimes a certain bravado that can happen with that. Some people are might be a little, uh, might cower away from uh, that leadership role. But how nice does it feel to be at top of the table? Uh, is there a certain air of confidence that has grown within the group? Can you speak to how that is like amongst, uh, I guess, the members of the squad, including your coach? Uh, of course, we're in a great position in the halfway mark of the group stage. And um, we just have to uh, stick to what we've been doing for the pre previous games. I don't think we should uh, let off. I think we should keep uh, uh, humble and progress and uh, push our limits. We can always improve in uh, certain aspects of the game to get the maximum points out of each game. So I think uh, we just have to remain uh, humble and stick to the game plan. And uh, I think that will get, get us through these, these sets of games. Well, honestly, Bank of California, to, to start off, uh, it's an amazing venue. Uh, it's an amazing venue with the fans uh, that are fantastic. You know, I've been overall with uh, well, welcome messages and uh, I've been talking a little bit with them. Uh, but most likely, it's the atmosphere in the stadium uh, that I've been looking forward to uh, to really experience. But on the good side of <laughs> of, uh, of the the home locker room and not being in the away locker room, this is what I'm really uh, uh, looking for and to represent the, the city and honestly to to give everything on the field for for these people that comes into the stadium and they give everything. And so uh, the only response that we need to do as players is to give uh, everything back. Look forward to meeting you in person, Maxi. Thank you. Jay? Max, greetings from Vancouver. It's been a week since the trade was announced. You are dearly missed already. Uh, it's going to be nice to see you in Canadian colors. Max, can, can you shed light for, for everyone here on the West Coast? Axel Schuster said it was a very special personal situation in regards to moving you. There's been all kinds of concern for you, your family, and, and your daughter. Is everyone okay there? And can you shed some light on, on why you decided to move and, 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 and a message to the Vancouver Whitecaps fans? Yeah, sorry, I was, I was getting closer because I have had a little bit of a trouble uh, hearing you. But well, first, first of all, and then there's a plan going, so just give uh, one second for, uh, for you guys to hear me well. So basically, uh, Jay, uh, it was a it was a personal reason, and uh, I wanted to thank the the organization of Vancouver for the the last three years. You know, they've given me the opportunity to to prove myself in the league, and uh, to be fair, uh, it's only personal reason. And a lot of people have uh, messaged me about my family, which uh, we are all healthy and everybody's fine, everybody's happy, and so uh, we're really really looking forward to to go in LA and uh, to represent LAFC. What's your fondest memories of being in Vancouver? Uh, honestly, uh, the contact that I have with, with uh, everybody was greeting me uh, since day one. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a social person. I think everybody knows that. And uh, in Vancouver, uh, ever since uh, I, I stepped foot, everyone was really, uh, really, really genuine with me. And so uh, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for, for the past three years. And and, uh, you know, uh, friendship is forever. And so uh, there's some business decision and such, but uh, friendship is forever. 